Hello, in this video we will see how to import data that is in a CSV file into BMC Helix CMDB by creating a data import job in Atrium Integrator. Let's consider a scenario where we have two CSV files with data. One file has information about the computers that need to be linked to some disk drives. The other file has information about the disk drives. This information needs to be imported and stored in CMDB as CIs with relevant relationships. To begin with, let's look at a few tasks that we must complete before we create an Atrium integrator job. We must create a source and a target data store. And, a data set where the imported data will be stored in CMDB. Let's first create the data stores. To create a data store for CMDB that is deployed as a container, you must first create a record for the CSV data file in the UDM attachments form. Open the UDM attachments form. Create a new request. Attach the CSV file. And save the record. For this example, we will create two records. One for the file with computer data and one for the disk drives. Next, to create the data stores, go to Manage Atrium Integrator, select Manage Data Stores, and then select Create Data Store. We will first create the source data store for the CSV data. Enter a name. The attachment set name field is auto-populated. If CMDB is not deployed as a container, manually enter the location of the CSV data file. Test the data store for any errors. If you get any errors, make sure the file name, file extension, file location, and the server names are correct. Next, we will create the target data store, that is, the AR system data store in CMDB. Enter the details for the data store. Test the data store, and save. Now, let's create a data set in which the imported data will be stored. To create a data set, go to Data Sources, select Manage Data Sources, and click Add Data Set. Enter the name and data set ID, and create the data set. Confirm that the data set is empty. Now, let's go to Manage Atrium Integrator to create an import job. Enter a job name and description. In the field for Source Data Store, select CSV and select the data store name. Select the AR System Data Store. Then, select the CSV import dataset that we created. In the Mapping section, select the classes in which you want the CSV data to be populated. In this example, we will select the BMC Computer System class. Enter a name for the CI type. Select the source file from the list. Select the target attributes against which you want to map the CSV data. Let's select name and map it with the name column in the CSV file. Next, we will select the account ID attribute and map it with the account ID column. Similarly, we can map all the required attributes with the appropriate columns in the CSV file. After mapping the attributes, we must select at least one source key which must have a unique value to identify different CI records. Let's select account ID as the source key. Next, let's add data for another class, BMC Disk Drive. For this class, use the CSV file with the disk drive information and then map the attributes. After mapping the attributes for both the classes, select the source key, account ID. Now, we can create a relationship between the CIs of these two classes. Select the Relationship tab. Select the Parent class and the Child class. Select the type of relationship and add the relationship mapping details. Save the job. To begin the data import, click Start Job. After the job is complete, you will see the status and the job run details on the screen. 
we can see that the CSV import dataset is populated with the correct data. Click any CI and view it in CMDB Explorer. Use the self-help tab in the CMDB portal to view a step-by-step -step guided flow to import data. See the video description for a link to the documentation. Thank you for watching. Watch other videos to learn more about CMDB.